This is the Pawn Employee tutorial for the online license application. You'll need four things. Your social security number, driver's license or ID, your company master file number, which your manager should be able to provide, as well as five-year histories of residence and occupation. Pause if needed. Before you continue, take these three steps. Create an account online at the website provided. Check your email to activate your account and then log in. Here is a list again of the four things you will need to complete your application. And also, please do remember to take these three steps before continuing. Once you log in, this is the first screen you will see. Click on the option next to Pawn Employee License on the left. Then enter your social security number and click search. If this is the first time you've ever applied with the OCCC, click on create new account and then acquire new license under the Pawn Employee option. Enter all required information as indicated by a red asterisk, which will include your first name and your last name as it appears on your driver's license or ID, as well as your date of birth, whether or not you have a suffix, which is not required, but it is optional. Enter dates in month, month, day, day, year, 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 year format. Enter your social security number two times. Select the type of ID that you have, be it driver's license, state ID, visa, or passport, and then enter the ID number found on the ID that you have. For the issuing state, you can double-click the letter T on your keyboard to get to Texas, or you have a drop-down option. The place of birth is to be your city and state without any commas. The email address is the one that is for you personally, as is the first phone number you'll enter. Enter your citizenship, and you've completed your personally identifying information. The remainder of the information on the page specifically as it relates to your company. Once you've completed it, click Next. This is where you will enter your residential details. You'll need to add new records until you have full five years without any gaps in time. Enter a from date of at least five years ago, the end date, the address where you lived, your zip code, and then click Tab for the remainder to autofill. You'll need to insert new records until you have five full years without any gaps in time. Without five years, we cannot process your application. In this example, we do need to add a new record because we don't yet have five full years. Enter a from date, picking up where the to date left off. If it's your current address, click Is Current, add address line 1, the zip code, and again tab for the remainder to autofill. Insert the record, and be sure to check to make sure you have five full years without any gaps before clicking Next. Enter five years of employment history, including any time spent as a student or unemployed. Add a new record, beginning with a from date that is at least five years ago. The end date, address line one. Enter the zip code and click Tab for the next three to autofill. Enter the phone number, job title, and duties. In this section, you will not enter your current pawn shop employer because you entered it on the first page. Add new records, including time spent unemployed, until you have five full years without any gaps. Start the next from date, picking up where the previous to date left off. If you have a second job, you can select Is Current Employer. If you had a previous job with another pawn shop, you would select Is Pawn Shop. Again, do not enter your current pawn employment because you already did. Insert records until you have five full years or we will be unable to process your application. After you are sure you have five full years without any gaps in history, click Next. The last part of the application is a questionnaire. You will need to pause the video to read each question before you answer it. For the purpose of the tutorial, I'll be answering the first question yes, and all except for the last no to begin with. 
you answer yes to anything other than one, you'll need to attach a document explaining why you answered yes. If you answer question one yes and all others no, you can simply click next. On the next screen, you will be given the option to pay for the application yourself or send the application to your employer. Speak with your manager about which option you should choose. Be sure you read everything before you click Next. If you selected Payment by Employer, the application is in the company account available for payment. If you chose Self-Payment, you'll be prompted to pay. After a payment is made, you'll need to schedule a fingerprint appointment. To schedule an appointment, go to occ.texas.gov, type the word fingerprints in the search box, and click search. Follow the first link, and then follow instructions on how to schedule an appointment. You will be emailed when your application is approved or if more information is needed. If you have any other questions, please visit us on the web at occc.texas.gov.